what's up guys it's your boy lifted here today's video is going to be a little bit different today i'm going to focus on what loadouts i run for br this is a question that i've gotten a lot whether it's been in gameplay with my squad or it's been questions on instagram twitter or on youtube videos that i have posted in the past so i thought i would finally make one of those videos i'm gonna do it a little bit different i'm not gonna concentrate so much on one specific rifle or the season's current meta since that's something that's already constantly being done i'm gonna give you a more in-depth look into what loadouts i run period it's a, a in total i believe i have five classes already made for br and each one of them contains different rifles one of them might be the meta for the season or the meta for that specific update but the rest of the time it's just pretty much what i stick to so we're gonna go ahead let's switch it up here and let's go over to what my weapons classes are okay we go to the edit loadouts and you can see that i pretty much already have them um named on the have the top three and then i have the bottom two now one thing that i want you guys to see on my first loadout it's gonna be my bruin and the reason that i have this one on top it's not just so much because the bruin is overpowered it's more of the fact that it's a heavy hitter first of all even after the nerf it's still a heavy hitter because all they did was nerf the damage range so i still kind of run it like an ar but sometimes you'll see me doing close engagements with it at, at hip fire and that's you know i can I, you can say i kind of ran it like an smg for that specific run but we're gonna go to the gunsmith and this is my setup it's the monolithic suppressor monolith monolithic suppressor gives you sound suppression damage range but it slows down your aim down sight speed and aim walk steadiness um i do have a vlk 3.0 on this one so and i run the 23 inch xrk horizon barrel fully loaded 60 round mags this is my fully loaded class so whenever i'm coming back from gulag or i'm getting bought back and i have the opportunity to land on a loadout I have something that's com that's full with ammo. That's one of the mistakes that a lot of players make is being bought back or coming back from Gulag. You're coming back with a pistol, 13 rounds in the mag, and I believe maybe another 30 to 40 rounds in your back pocket. But if you're landing on a loadout and you grab an AR, for example, that you don't have fully loaded on it, what's going to happen is you're going to be limited to whatever's in your mag. And if your team is just so happens that's in an engagement at that specific moment, you're you're only you know 30 to 60 rounds in the mag and then you're out of ammo and being out of ammo and having to shoot a pistol when people have their loadouts and stuff like that it's definitely not an ideal situation so i run it as the first one so that if i drop on a loadout i'm quick to pick my first class and i'm guaranteed to have fully loaded every time all my classes if you look at my perks i run eod ghost and ant some people what they'll do is the beginning of the game they'll run overkill class to me i feel that I can be proficient enough with a gun that I'm picking up from ground loot or out of an orange box. I can pick that up and immediately grab ghost on my first loadout. Ghost is key. You want to remain hidden while you're on the map. And the, the sooner or the earlier that you can grab ghost, the better it is because a lot, you know, sometimes you hit orange crates or teams come up on money bags quick and they're quick to buy um, UAVs, especially in the beginning. Halfway you know, midpoint through three quarters of the way into the BR when that count is really low. At that point, everybody already has picked up their ghost class at that point. So buying UAVs is kind of useless unless, you know, you got a lot of people on a jailbreak or you got a lot of people coming back from the gulag or being bought back. So it's, you know, it's very few people will not have ghosts at that point. So to me, it's ideal. Excuse me. I rather get ghosts right out the bat that's just priority for me so i'm always gonna run whatever secondary i'm just running a pistol in this one i'm always gonna run eld because you don't want to get your butt blown up um ghost and then and because i like to switch guns fast it's always faster to switch guns than it is to reload so in the middle of an engagement you'll see in a lot of my videos i'm shooting and i just switch to my secondary at that point if i notice that my round count is low in my mag it's always going to be faster to do the gun switch the weapon switch rather than having to 
reload your your mag and if you don't have sleight of hand on certain weapons it is you know it, it is time consuming uh c4 heartbeat sensor just because campers and uh, a lot of campers you'd be surprised how many how many of them will just pick up guns stack up on some money maybe buy a uav or buy some sort of score streak not worry about the loadout and never run ghost and this is a good way to see them also towards the end of the game like i said you're gonna have a lot of people being bought back or from gulag where all you need to see is one guy in your heartbeat monitor and you can already assume that he has at least at minimum if you're running duels trios or quads at least at minimum he's going to have one teammate with him so you're getting ready for a multiple man fight but guaranteed one of those guys coming back from gulag is not going to have his ghost class so that's my my uh lmg class my second one is my mp7 i run monolithic suppressor no stock fully loaded 60 round mag ranger foregrip once again fully loaded showed up no stock if you notice this gun is set up for quick adsing so if i mess up because i picked up my smg at some point in one of the loadouts when you land in again and you land on another loadout your last class is going to be the next one highlighted so if i make a mistake and i don't pick up my bruin i just immediately hit that x button or that square button to pick my class and it just so happens i'm on this one i'm coming up on quick ads and i'm coming up on fully loaded so that right there is a huge advantage um perks and lethal tacticals are going to be the same secondary is going to be the same and then my BR sniper, everything is exactly the same except I run um, the HDR, which is a sniper class. And this is set up for more or less a quick ADS. Um, but yeah, that's my setup. I do run FMJ. I've been noticing a lot that even with mid to upper body shots, I've been getting hit markers without the FMJ. The HDR used to be a one shot drop if it was midsection and up. That's how it was for me. I don't know if it was nerfed or what the issue is, but I have been getting a lot more consistent hit markers than I have drops unless the guy's already low on health. So I do run the FMJ on that. Like I said, it's not super quick for quick scoping. I'm not a quick scope player i i do tend to hard scope and i tend to use my snipers mid to late in the game and to be able to see at distances that that two x scope i mean i'm sorry the variable zoom scope gives me the range to be able to see a bit further across the map so that's how i run that and then down here this is where i usually run whatever me meta gun is considered the meta for that season or update i'll run it in this last bottom one as a non-important and then i always do have my trust my trusty old reliable mp5 i run the mp5 monolithic suppressor collapsible stipple grip tape 45 round mag and commando foregrip once again i'm set up for um 80 quick ads on here i have been noticing recently people are running the monolithic integral suppressor um i don't like it i just i feel that i'm more proficient with the monolithic which the monolithic what it gives me is sound suppression and damage range it slows me down on end down side speed and aim walk walking steadiness but i get sound suppression and damage range if i run monolithic integral i get sound suppression and bullet velocity so damage range and bullet velocity two completely different things yes my bullet will be faster but it will not cause as much damage at range if i'm running this setup if i'm running my regular monolithic suppressor then i get damage range extended so whatever was nerfed um, yeah whatever was nerfed on the mp5 whether it be on the 30 round 10 millimeter um, mag or on the 45 this actually hurts it so i just keep it monolithic suppressor not the integral um and on the and like i said same thing eod ghost amped c4 heartbeat sensor um this i would pick up on my second loadout obviously because i don't have fully loaded first loadout i'm always gonna go fully loaded just because i already have ghost on on all of them so doesn't really matter so here I'm, i was running the amax um i believe the amax is a great not so close but not too far into the mid-range what you would consider the mid-range area i'm thinking 75 to 80 meters it's a, a 
it's a badass gun. I run it with the monolithic suppressor, the XRK Zodiac S440, the VOK 45 round mag, and the Ranger 4 grip. A lot of people are running it with the Merc for recoil and hip fire accuracy. I never use my ARs for hip fire anyways, so I felt that having aiming stability over hip fire and recoil control was going to was gonna work better out for me so i am running the ranger four grip on that one and that's pretty much it that's those are my classes for for my br mode um whenever i'm gonna run multiplayer which is rarely i play multiplayer recently i have been doing it um because i've been grinding grinding out my camels and stuff like that I just recently got the Ram. I think the Ram is one a, a great looking gun with the gold camel. And I also recently got um, my SMGs in platinum. And I think that this is actually one of the cooler looking platinum ones here is the P90. I, I really like that look where it has kind of like a digital camel to it with the platinum. It really stands out very nicely. But, um, and right now I believe I'm working on the, on doing the FN. And, no, that's my car, sorry. This car, here we go. Um, so yeah, I recently, I think yesterday I started doing this one. So it's just pretty much the game has become a bit stale for me. So I'm just starting to run through all the camels and the challenges and the missions just to, you know, continue doing something in the game, at least until Cold War um, comes out November 13th. I have played the alpha. I might do a video on it. I'm not too happy with some things in the game. Other things I really like. Um, one thing I am going to mention about Cold War, there's no tactical sprint. So I catch myself constantly hitting on my left thumbstick for no reason because there is no tax print. That's one thing I wanted to add on there. But other than that, that's been my rundown of what my BR classes are. Nothing ever changes in these loadouts. Nothing at all ever changes except for this bottom one whenever I want to test out a gun or I'm running um, the season's current meta or what is considered the meta but pretty much yeah that's it guys um any questions that you have or any pointers or or if you guys want to go ahead and give me any pointers into what loadouts you run i'm definitely open to that you guys know i am active in my comments so i always make sure i answer back to you guys i really do appreciate the support sorry that the content hasn't been flowing i recently moved down to miami for personal reasons and one of them being my mother-in-law is going through stage four cancer fight so we've been dealing with that so i've kind of slowed down on the activity with youtube but i am working on getting back to it so definitely i do appreciate everybody's support to the channel being active what times that i've been streaming before or in my videos dropping comments likes i really do appreciate all of all of that guys but with that said i want to thank you guys again i appreciate everything you guys have a good one it's your boy lifted watch out for more content coming out soon bye guys